President Trump has responded to Elizabeth Warren's DNA test. Trump insisted to a group of reporters at the White House that he never said he'd pay $1 million to charity if she took a DNA test proving she was part Native American, despite there being video of him saying this at a July rally. As for his thoughts on her report? Who cares? His remarks came before he and First Lady Melania Trump headed to Florida and Georgia to visit with the victims of Hurricane Michael. Original, is Donald Trump ready to pay $1 million to charity? After years of bullying and racial slurs aimed at Elizabeth Warren, the Massachusetts senator, 69, has taken a DNA test that proves she's part Native American, just as she's maintained. In a video posted to her website, Warren calls up Carlos Bustamante, a professor of genetics at Stanford and advisor to Ancestry and 23andMe, while sitting behind a laptop. Now, the president likes to call my mom a liar, Warren asks him. What do the facts say? Bustamante responds, the facts suggest that you absolutely have a Native American ancestor in your pedigree. You can watch the full video above. Bustamante's full report is now posted on Warren's website, which first stipulates that the analyst testing her DNA didn't know her identity. The report states that, while the vast majority of the individual's ancestry is European, the results strongly support the existence of an unadmixed Native American. It concludes that her Native American heritage comes from First Nations and indigenous Mexican peoples, as would be expected for Native American ancestry deriving from the lower 48 states of the United States. Warren also published supporting documents and interviews detailing her background on her website. It's clear that Warren took the DNA test and published her video partly in response to Trump's attacks about her heritage. It opens with a clip of Trump mocking her at a rally by calling her Pocahontas, a nickname he's repeatedly used. Members of the Warren family express disappointment with the president in a series of interviews. He's talking about stuff he doesn't have any idea about, Mark Herring, her nephew, says in the video. She also addresses the notion that Warren's Native American heritage played a role in her career success, something the White House has alleged. Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders said during a memorable briefing that the American people aren't concerned with Trump mocking the senator. What most people find offensive is Senator Warren lying about her heritage to advance her career. Her video includes testimonials from faculty at Harvard Law, the University of Houston. Warren's DNA testing and testimonials could curb further questions and attacks about her familial background should she run for president against Trump in 2020 which many think she'll do. It's unlikely that Trump will stop mocking her despite the evidence, of course. But will he pony up on his promise to donate $1 million to charity if Warren were to take a DNA test and it shows you're an Indian? Trump has said that he hopes Warren will run in 2020 because she'll be easy to beat. Warren states in her video that she's not part of any tribe, but my family history is my family history. She muses about the motives of Trump who has questioned my heritage and family history. As she states on her website, Donald Trump uses racism, sexism, homophobia, bigotry and hate to divide and distract us, while he rigs the system for the rich and powerful. But our country's disrespect of Native people didn't start with President Trump. It started long before President Washington ever took office. As of publication, Trump has not responded to Warren's report. His spokesperson, Kellyanne Conway, however, stated, I haven't looked at the test. I know that everybody likes to pick their junk science or sound science depending.